Alright guys, welcome back to a new game called Helldivers 2. Let me just not interrupt this intro sequence to the game. Super Earth, our home. Prosperity, liberty. Hi there. <laughs> Democracy, our way of life. Oh, hello. But freedom doesn't come free. <laughs> wow. Sweet liberty. No. <laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. You could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the Helldivers. Become part of an elite peacekeeping force! See exotic new life forms. And spread managed democracy throughout the galaxy. Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a Helldiver. Yeah, for managed democracy. Well, I don't know if you guys heard me in the very beginning. Uh, this is Helldivers 2, a recently new game that came out a few weeks ago, I think. And I've been playing it a bunch, as you see, level 17, compared to other people that are level 50, but we won't talk about that. So, for the new viewers that haven't seen this game, I'm gonna go with, uh, like, all the ordinary stuff that you normally do go with. Like, what you'll see a new player go with. Come on, you can load faster. Go with this. And then... Technically, they don't get their capes after the tutorial. I mean, they get it when in the tutorial mission, their capes. But yeah, let's do the tutorial mission. So you guys get experience with the game. Survival rate, 21%. Patriotism rating, 97. Man, I can't believe we're actually gonna become hell divers. Approaching LZ. Next recruit, prepare to dismount. Liberating the galaxy, stomping bugs, every kid's dream. Good luck out there. I'll see you on the front lines. Don't worry, we'll both die already. You're on your own from here, recruit. Use your map to find your way to the training facility. Earn your cape. Earn your cape. Check it out. Hey, you can see all those, uh... Welcome to Helldiver Training. Stuff. Your instructor is waiting for you up ahead. Please proceed. All those rockets going on the side. Like, in the sky. Which, what's funny... Oh. I'm General Brash, Super Earth's oldest and most grizzled war hero. And I'm not easy to impress. Helldiver training is the toughest test in the galaxy. But I can tell that doesn't scare you. Impressive. It moved. The cargo... Container moved. What's in there? Seed to crouch. A little bit of barbed wire, just a little bit. And then you can either sprint or hit space to go if they're optical. Well, I said that word wrong. Let's just pretend I didn't. In all my years, I've never witnessed such acrobatic perfection. Stay down to stay safe. I think you're ready for a highly realistic battlefield simulator. That's right, the real deal. 
And don't worry, in the beginning of the game, I really, I died to uh, these. Of course, in the tutorial. Now, activate the battlefield injury simulator. Oh, hit! Sweet liberty, the blood! Rinse your teeth, soldier. Grab that stim and patch yourself up. There, good as new. Now, look sharp. You're about to encounter democracy's sworn Whee! enemy recruit. There Grab a fist. <laughs> a fistful the of freedom. The scourge of liberty. Arm yourself and show that bug the true meaning of freedom. Attention all hell divers are required to read blah blah blah. At least three times for training. The live pistols. Oh, I didn't even get ammo. Now, use a grenade to close up that bug hole. Otherwise, they'll just keep coming. Yeet. Aha. What a catapult of an arm! On to the next you section. Up there. Look up in the sky, recruit. That there is a super. Cannot go in deep water. And it's all powerful stratagems are yours to command. Use a stratagem now to take care of those bugs. Whee! Just make sure you take a few steps back. Yeah, you can call in things like this. Oh, actually, no. Boom. Explosion. Ah, Goo. the will of democracy. Good work. Next lesson. Tell Diamond. Meet your new squad mate. Greetings, fellow Helldiver. What a fine soldier. Your brother at arms. A battle forged bond that could never be replaced. Until now. Alright, guys, welcome back. I don't know if I'm going to continue off like a setting go. The recording was right. If it was not right, it doesn't really matter. But, um, what I'm going to do right now is let's play some Helldivers too. I think what probably happened right now is I think uh, that first recording I did, I'll have to scrap all of it, even me doing the tutorial. Why are we doing this mission again? And then, uh, because this is like a defense type mission, I believe. Let me, uh, I need something on my back. I could get a dark guard dog, whatever, to be on my back. That would be pretty nice. All right, I guess. So what's this? Increase all stamina capacity and recovery. That's really good. Resist injury. Um. Okay, so yeah, the beginning of the recording, the intro to the game, you you guys will be able to see, no matter what. Even if the recording did mess up, I'll edit it in. But at this point, welcome guys to Helldivers 2. And I did in the first part the tutorial, but because I have to scrap that, no tutorial. You guys don't get to see him. But yeah, this game is about fighting bugs and robots. Uh, they're going to add another faction, I believe. And then they're also, like, when they're going to add the other faction. They're going to add a bunch more stuff. You can, uh, actually, I'll wait until the loading screen is done, honestly, probably. Yeah. So you can uh, choose, like, what a second ago I just did. I chose what abilities I wanted to have. Machine gun sentry. Mortar. Fortifications. I don't know why this got th thrown so far away. But yeah, the mortar's gonna help. Paying for my teammates that there's bugs spawning over there. And that is a charger. I'm not gonna be really be able to do anything from what I have. I should have got an auto cannon. Northwest. 
Ooh. Nice. He called like a rail shot or whatever. Those are our ships actually up there, which is pretty cool. And you can go different, uh, like first person, third person. Going on reinforcement uh, up there because I think he was actually up there. There's different armor types in the game. They do different effects, and right now they're glitched to where all the armors have the same armor. So me wearing heavy armor is just basically nerfing myself. Which, if you know what nerfing means, basically means I'm just screwing myself over. And there is a bile titan. I'm gonna let my teammates mess with that. Yeah. <laughs> Bro screaming about his arm. Alright, I'm probably gonna say ciao. And gosh darn leave this area because literally we got by far the dangerous the most dangerous enemy in the game. Whoa. I gotta reload. And you can like do dives and stuff like that, which is very cool. Okay, I'm dead. So I guess this variant has a bunch of like armor. I'm not used to fighting the green variant. Whoa! Get me out of here. Why did you bring me in the bio titan range? He's behind me, isn't he? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't make my screen go blurry. Warning, you are leaving the mission area. Yes, please kill him, I beg. I can't move anywhere. I can't spawn in any of my abilities, like my mortars, my sentry, nothing. Out of here. Ouch. I was trying to look at my recording, make sure everything was still fine. And yeah, I got all the samples. Which is very helpful. Yeah, the, all the sentry turrets and everything, the guard dog, whatever. I normally don't go with the guard dog, uh, guard dog, which the guard dog is the gun with the laser right there. Normally, I don't go with. Uh, go with that. Sorry, I got distracted by my ping. Yeah! We did it. But FF. FFS? I don't know what that means. Um. But yeah. That was a very short game mode. Hopefully, he doesn't do this mission again, because I just came back in the other recording, which I have to cut out. I played a mission, and he played this mission. If he's going to play this mission over and over again, I'm just going to, like, immediately leave. Because I feel like playing those long missions that take up to 40 minutes, not these ones that take less than 15. Yeah, I got some resources, blah, 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 blah. I need to get level 20, and then I'll be able to unlock everything. Yeah, you see? Five medals, and then he should do the other missions. If he doesn't, then I'm leaving. Ugh, didn't level up. Sad. And it sucks that we can't skip this screen sometimes. But also not. It helps add to the game, in my opinion. Also as well. That dude's name is Super Citizen because he, like, bought a special bundle to the game. Or pre-order it or whatever. That's why I'm the dude on the right. And I think I look pretty, uh, pretty cute. 
I killed 32 bugs. Oh, the most on our team. I feel like I did nothing, Welcome honestly. Back. The terminates you defeated will soon fuel the war. Uh, there's also store super credits. Uh, you can pay money to get them or grind them like I did in the games. But I didn't just immediately leave the mission. The people that actually play Helldivers, I didn't actually leave the mission. I played it through, even though I've been grinding for stuff. Huggy mode. Yes. Alright, let me just return to my ship alone, honestly. Woo. Leviathan of Steel. That's what I named my ship. Because, uh, the ship, you have to, uh, it randomizes. So, like, it, Leviathan part, that's this whole section. Like, you can go through multiple things to figure out what word you want to replace instead of Leviathan. And then the same with the Steel. But I just went with both of them because I thought it was kind of cool, maybe. Just a little bit. What I want right now, oh oh yeah, these are like a bunch of different upgrades that help out. Like this one, it increases your support weapons, uh, abilities, cooldowns. So like instead of taking three minutes for a grenade launcher to spawn, it would take like 10% less. Backpacks, fall damage, uh, additional salvo per barrage, orbital strategy and cooldown. So like all these really help. But I like, uh, I wanted to go with this one, try this one. Improved steering of Helldivers during pod deployment. I want to be able to like power steal. Power steal. Steering. I cannot speak. But this one, it says increase enemy ping radius by 50, which is super nice. So after, so it would be really cool to get that, but it's going to be a long time probably. Until I get more of these, maybe. But definitely, I just want to... What do I even want to get? Deployment time for the emplacement stratagems. Ah. Reduces deployment all sentry stratagems. That that one's cool. Definitely would want that one because I use the sentry mortar all the time. Increases ammo. That's very nice. Moves to the targets more. Alright, I'm basically going through all of them. My bad. Auto cannon, like you see how you can have a teammate carry that. You can carry the ammo on your back. Then reload's gonna be slower though. But you can ask a teammate to go up, go up to you, and then reload for you. It's teamwork. So me and my friend could do it, which is super cool. Flamethrower is really cool. This one does a lot of damage. Just RPG blast, recoilless rifle. Yeah. And this is like a. This is a more like RPG. You shoot once, get rid of it. And then, like, a machine gun that you can reload on the move. While this one, you have to, like, when you got to reload, you have to put all your time into it. And you can't move or really look around that much. Sniper rifle, rail gun, and then the spear, which is cool. And then there's a bunch of orbitals. Like, a giant laser beam. Like, you see that? Bzzz. Or, like, look how big this area is, right? Huge. Absolutely huge. And you can just, like, nuke destroy this whole area and then you got like you can call in bombardments from the eagle like a jet whatever so you can ask napalm pleasure strike jetpack 110 rocket pods 50 kilogram bomb you see how big that is it honestly feels like there's a lot less in the game uh i did want to get this i did want to get the gas because apparently it can really help out i won't go the, the whole reason why it really helps out but Definitely cool. EM, EMS helps slow them down. Shield generator. That is very needed as well. Laser cannon. Grenade launcher. And then I got the dark go dog recently. Gatling. Auto sentry. I do get the auto, auto sentry though. You see, there's so many things I want to get. I could get the auto sentry plus the other thing. Instead of, what am I trying to say that I don't want to get? That cost a bunch. Oh, the show generator. Yeah, let me just go with the gas strike for right now. Gas strike. 75 second cooldown, which is cool. 90 seconds for this. That's cool as well. And then auto cannon sentry. No more going with the normal machine gun sentry. Now I'm just going to go with the auto cannon. And then you saw a set ago, you could buy stuff in the Superstore. I mean, not Superstore. Nope. War Bonds. Oh, and then the Battle Pass right here. See? 
which you have to get a thousand what's cool is that you can just grind in game so i can right now if i wanted to i could just grind and then get these uh weapons which i believe this one's like explosive weapon which is cool so it's a normal primary weapon you get at the beginning of the game but it's explosive look at this one steel trooper his arms all messed up he looks cool super credits they get the revolver the armor do, do, does different stuff. Throwing range, limb health. Same thing with this one. Uh, different armor rating. Blah, blah, blah. Which is super cool. Different helmets. Guns. What type of this? What is this? Is this like a machine gun? What is this? I haven't actually looked at it. Oh, this one. We just did the... Blah, 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 blah. 